Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 294. Nasdaq's up 130. S&Ps are up 32. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. Don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. The way you can get the opening call, you come over to our website, at TFNN, and you're going to see it right under featured content. Our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, is going to be doing a webinar this coming Wednesday night. And the way you get into this webinar, you can subscribe right now to the opening call. You can get it for a month for $128, six months for $595, which is a savings of $173, a year for $995, which is a savings of $541. They all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. That is going to get you into this workshop this coming Wednesday night, which is going to start right after my show at 5 o'clock and go to 6.30. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? Doing great, man. Yourself? Very good. Thank you. So what are we going to be talking about in the workshop, Basil? So basically what I've always looked at is the, the tide itself really dictates what one can do either in the short term, intermediate term or longer term basis. If one is able to use some technical tools to identify where the tide is and whether it's going down or whether it's going up, that's really important. And if you just looking at this middle chart right here, this is the, the weekly chart of the Dow. Okay. You can see all those green arrows to the upside. If I put a big down, in fact, I have this in my scene introducing the Chapman Wave methodology. I have a, a chart like this, and then I have a big down arrow. And you can see, identifying it visually, you can say, well, this everything's looking like it wants to go up. Why would you want to be shorting? So identifying the trend means that if you were going long any time on the way up, the tide that is rising will help you. On the way down, if you look at the left side chart, remember I mentioned that for subscribers to my opening call, uh, we went short the day before the recovery high of 26,695 in the Dow on the 23rd of April, the day before we went short. So we were short going into that top, and we were short all the way down, took profits on the way down, got stopped out of the final position uh, a day or two ago. And but on Monday I was identifying so that means that on the way down, even though there was a couple there were a couple of big bumps to the upside, this big thick black line, which is the 14 period exponential moving average, was telling you that if prices were below, that it's probably going to be tough to break that resistance. And until that resistance is broken, you, you can think of it as lower lows and lower highs. So that's one way of looking at the tide. The other is when we were coming down. Over the week, last weekend, the more I work I did, the more I thought the everything I'm looking at from the 120 minute chart, the short, very short term to the intermediate term is suggesting that this this W formation forming in the stochastic with the on balance volume, the blue line coming down to a low was suggesting that there could be a turnaround. I wasn't sure yet how deep or strong the turnaround would be. So we went long at the open on Monday morning, actually just before the open for some subscribers and right at the open for others. So uh, we went long in the 20, 24,000, um, 24, somewhere around 24,750 area, and the low was 24,701. Maybe it was a little higher. We went long the 200 percent. And the reason is I felt very strongly that if there was going to be a rally, I had my key indicators, and that was that the stochastic had to rally from under, from the 15% area to the 20% or higher. The MACD had to finally cross positive, and any rally needed to take out these the trend line of the moving averages, the 14 period, the nine period, and this orange one, the 200 period moving average. If it did that, I had a confirmation that at least there was a viable trading bottom, and that the best thing was to try to get in as quickly as possible to the bottom because it gives you a good cushion. So I'm going to be talking about these different techniques, the different moving averages that I use. I'm going to be talking about what can I what can help you identify whether the trend is a rising trend in the bigger term. Now we can go to the intermediate term, which is the weekly chart. And you can see in the Chapman wave, and let me just quickly show this, in the Chapman wave, we're always looking for um, the most identifiable lowest low and then count each successively peak. We want to get to the fourth highest peak, peak D. I alphabetize them ABCD. That's where other things can happen. We're always looking at couple arch formations or a combination. And you can see those are all the patterns that we've got 
in the left side chart of the Dow, there's that H pattern. Now we've got the turnaround. Now the big thing for me is, is this a viable rally right here? Because you've got the sign of an arch, and that's what I'll be discussing. One of the indications that are so far, especially with today's action, are telling me that the low that was made is, is a pretty significant low, at least in the shorter term, that I have to wait for the MACD and stochastic to turn positive, and they're still quite negative, but the price has been really strong. So I have trend lines that we draw. I have moving averages that we can look at. And so far, the weekly chart has only given a sell signal. And today's action kind of negates that to a certain extent. And then I'm going to be talking about a particular chart formation right here that I've spent a lot of time on about a year ago. I discussed it with subscribers at different webinars. And the last webinar, I said, this is very important. This is like my template right here, this chart on the left. Because look at the Dow chart, monthly chart on the right. Look how where that question mark is. Look how things have matched. So these are things that I'm going to be discussing. How to identify trends, what you can use for indicators. Look at this beautiful up channel that held the support in this left side chart. Look at this channel that held the support in the right. And this is the monthly chart. Look at the way the moving averages, the MACD the, and the stochastic are matching so nicely. So I'm going to be discussing where we're looking, what we're looking at, why I'm looking at it and what tools that my subscribers can now add to the, their collection of their toolbox. And some of it we talk about every day when I do my um, my daily report. But this is going to be a kind of a lesson and a very, a, a very um, functional way of looking at the market. And hopefully they will learn from me and I will learn from them when I get feedback from them. But so far, this is the pattern we're looking at. And you can see right now, we're almost breaking out of this oval pattern. So it's going to be very important what happens this coming week. So trends, the, the, I spoke about it on my show just uh, on Tuesday, I think it is, that we had just bought a stock. And I, I explained on my show, I said, I don't like to do this because my subscribers just got in. But we bought PLD, which is Prologis Inc. at $75.14. And we needed, and I explained the, the parameters that we're looking at, the trend lines. So it was like a lesson I had on Wednesday. And look, this thing's already shot up to 78.89. Um, it's a big gain, and our 200% long down is up 10%. 10% for an index in a week. That's amazing. It's, there's no doubt, man. It's a beautiful thing. So those are totally. things that I'll be discussing on Wednesday And folks, night. the way you come into the, the workshop, you come over to our website at TFNN, you're going to see right in uh, featured content of Mr. Basil Chapman. Now, inside the workshop, folks, what's going to happen also is that you're going to get three other archived workshops that Basil had already done. Uh, so you get a lot of value in here. You're going to have a great uh, letter for the uh, whole month. Uh, great workshop uh, next, uh, next uh, Wednesday night. You have a great weekend, safe weekend. And, of course, uh, we look forward to the program on Monday. Thank you very much, Tom. You too. Thank you.